All right, so for this video, I want to discuss how you can install Window Builder in your Eclipse IDE. Now, I did a previous video showing you how you can install Window Builder in Eclipse by using the Eclipse Marketplace. So you can always use that video as a reference point. But for this video, I want to look at some alternative ways in which we can install Window Builder in our Eclipse IDE. Now, for those who might be wondering what Window Builder is, if you are working in Java, the programming language, and you want to create graphical user interfaces, and you are using um, Eclipse as your IDE, then you would have to have Window Builder installed in order to build your GUI applications. Now, as I said, I did a previous video sort of going through this but showing you one way now i'm just want to i want to go over just a few alternative ways in which you can indeed install window builder in your eclipse ide all right so the first thing you can do is go to your browser type in window builder and you can click on the first link that you see here, which is from the Eclipse Foundation. Now it's talking about Window Builder. If you click on Download, it will show you some links for different versions of um, Window Builder. The one at the top is the most stable current version. You have the milestone version and you have the nightly version which comes with um, updates in terms of things that they are trying out. So it might not be the most stable version, right? So I would go with the first version here. So you can basically download from here or what you can also do is you can grab the URL. So I'm going to just right click, copy the link, go back to Eclipse, go to Help, and then I'm going to select Install New Software. Now, what I can do now is click on Add, add the URL, and we can give this a name. Um, you know, maybe we can call it window builder all right no once that is done it will show the url here along with the name that you gave to it if you want you can also grab the url from here and use this URL. So pretty much um, do the same thing. Add it here. Give it a name. Click on add. And it will basically pop up for you as well. All right, well let me just cancel that. Alright, I'll cancel this screen as well. No, without having to go to your browser, what you can do as well is go back to help in your Eclipse IDE, go to install new software, and there are some links that should already be listed for you. No, I am using version, well, I'm using 23-12, right? So what I typically do is look for anything that refers to the 23-12 and it says releases so I would select this option now after selecting that option I'm going to type in my filter here I'm going to type window builder All right so once I type window builder it filters out the available um, options for window builder 
again, as I stated, if you're going to be creating graphical user interfaces um, in Java, then it would make sense you use a nice drag and drop environment so you can cut down on the amount of code that you'll be typing or writing so window builder gives you that option right so i'm just going to click my checkbox here and i'm going to go ahead and say next All right, and then I'm going to click next again. And we're going to accept the terms of the license agreement. Then click on finish. Now, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, you see where it says installing software. So again, you can go to the marketplace or you can use the install new software option. Or as I said, you can go to the marketplace. I'll just do a quick um, review again of going to the marketplace, searching for window builder, even though I did an entire video on that. So I'll just do a quick little um, show and tell as soon as the software is done installing. What I'll do also is pin the previous video that I did to this particular video. So at least you can use that as a reference. If indeed maybe you would have, you would have preferred to install Window Builder from the Eclipse Marketplace. All right, now it's asking us to restart or Eclipse IDE. So I'm just going to click on restart No. All right, so our IDE was restarted. No, as I was saying, if you want to install it from the marketplace, you can simply go to the help option Go to marketplace and in the search option here you'll type in window builder and so you can just type window builder here all right and then just click on search and you'll see the different options so it is already installed for me so i am good to go um, when i install using the link i ended up installing the current plus the nightly uh, version right but if you are just doing it directly from the marketplace you can opt to just install the current version and that's it basically in terms of how you can use um window builder or install window builder in your eclipse id all right so in another video i'll show you how to just set up a basic um, login form again i did a previous video where i did a walkthrough in terms of creating a login form and so forth but I'm just going to do an updated version of that. So hopefully this video was somewhat helpful and it will be useful to you. All right, so until the next video, um, definitely try to set up your Eclipse IDE with Window Builder so you can follow along in the next video.